Okay, hello, Miss Catherine. Hello. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about our animals living on polluted beaches, lagoons, and oceans? I do not like it at all. I think that we need to do a lot more to keep our beaches clean, keep our lagoons clean, and our oceans clean. Um, the animals, when they live in polluted land, they die, and then that kills our ecosystem and affects everything else, from, and it affects our tourism. And we pride ourselves on our tourist area here in South Florida, and therefore I think that we as a society, we need to make sure that when we go to the beach, we pick up after ourselves and keep the beaches nice and clean. Do you, how do you think animals feel about living on the polluted beaches? I don't think they like it at all. I think if they could talk, they would probably tell us to pick up our stuff. Because um, I, I would look at it the same as, as myself. I don't want to drink dirty water, so I, therefore I don't think that we should have our animals drinking dirty water. Why do you think people are? Sheer laziness. Yeah, I could pick that up later, but why not just leave it here for somebody else to pick up and then no one else picks it up. How do you think that we can um, have people start stop littering on the beach? I mean, if you go on YouTube, you can look up all the adverse effects of littering on the beach. It saves our animals, our ecosystem, our our roads itself. You don't want to see trash on the ground or anywhere. I mean, if you ever want to go out and pick up some trash on the weekends, there's plenty of trash there. You can walk out with a trash bag and pick up all the trash. As long as you don't throw trash around or see anyone throwing trash, just be like, hey, you know, it's not good for our ecosystem. Pick it up. Or go behind them and say, this isn't good, and pick it up for them. That way they see that it's bad. What is one thing that you think everyone can do instead of just one person to make the environment better for the animals and everyone else around us? Uh, I think we all need to be very conscious, uh, conscious of how much our individual presence affects the environment, how much just one act of littering or environmental disturbance like cutting down a, a, an endangered tree or um, scaring away the, the wildlife from an undeveloped area uh, really has on the big picture. Um, we're here on the coast or in a very developed area so there's very little left for uh, very little natural environment left so we have to be careful not to disturb it. We have to let it uh, have a, a fair shot at surviving. How do you feel about the whole pollution problem going on with uh, the beach and uh, oceans and lagoons? Pollution is definitely unsafe for our environment, for our people, and for our animals. Um, with pollution, a lot of our fish and sea mammals can become endangered. Black like people should be more responsible when it comes to what they do with their waste and with their trash. They're on the beach, they have trash cans or bring a bag with you. So to avoid pollution, to avoid an animals being endangered. Okay, and how do you feel about the tour, the tourism, like, people not wanting to come back because of the beaches being so dis disgusting. And well, that's something we have to work on as us living, being in Stewart, Florida, or in Jensen, or in Martin County. We need to work on keeping our city, our county clean. A, a way for campaigning is definitely through our youth, definitely through our youth, um, have some type of drive, have some type of um, Event, event, just just to bring awareness. Let print it out into the newspaper. Put it on the news. Put it through our schools. Like put it somewhere where people will know and know to look.